Are you in the 98% of those who fail online? Those people who join one system or multiple systems and either you quit right after the first training video or you quit after a couple months because you couldn't make it work, you couldn't make any money, and that was it. You were done. You moved on. And then you join another system and you find that the same thing happens. You can't make any money. And you just keep blaming these systems. And then you reach a point where you're like, you know what? This is a scam. It doesn't work. You can't make money. It's a scam. You know what? I am, I am no better than anybody. I've made that mistake myself. I've done videos, <laughs> videos that I've made where I have called something a waste of time. And then I learned a secret that I didn't know. And then I realized that it wasn't all a waste of time. For example, IBO Toolbox. I believe, excuse me, I believe it is a waste of time to advertise on IBO Toolbox. It's a waste of time to take advantage of the banners. It's, it's not going to result in anything and you're just wasting time. You know, those few minutes of you creating the banner, um, you can do something different, you know, with your time. You can go place a banner on a website that's going to bring you real, you know, real good traffic. The problem with IBO toolboxes, they're all marketers. They're fellow marketers. They're not interested in, in what you have. They're just trying to advertise their own thing. But the one, what I didn't realize and didn't understand is all of the blogging I was doing there, which they call it a press release, they actually rank really high in Google. I didn't know that. So I ended up leaving IBO toolbox without knowing that every time I, I put my, and I always put my YouTube videos on there, and uh, I was blogging twice a day on that site, I didn't realize that it was helping, rank, helping my rank. And it became more evident when um, my blogs were producing a lot of traffic, and then suddenly they were not. Like, what changed? So, that's what, what, what where I failed. You know, I, I didn't... Even though the advertising was a waste of time, and I think most people who, who go there to advertise understand that. I, I've heard a lot of people say that. A lot of top marketers say that. You know, the, the banners always get the same percentage. It's usually 4%. You know, you could say, you know, free million, for, you know, $1 million for free, and you're still going to get a 4% open rate. Um, but the blogging is, is beneficial. So anyways, um, you're always gonna you're always gonna learn from from your own mistakes and that that's why failure is okay you know failure you you learn from it you learn um what not to do and this and that um you know um a, another reason why why marketers fail and i i call it a, a i call it system hoppers you know they instead of blaming themselves and and figuring out okay what am i doing wrong they blame the system you know the system was was at fault. Something was wrong with the system. It's not working. Um, I did that, but I was partially right. Uh, <laughs> uh, partially right because I, I learned something. Um, but I was promoting Motor Club of America and I was doing really well. I was making sales. And then suddenly I wasn't making any sales. And I couldn't understand what was going on. So I blamed the system and I moved to another system. And I wasn't making sales with that system. So I just kept moving from system to system. I was a system hopper. And eventually, I, I just stopped promoting Motor Club of America. What I learned was it was the capture pages. Everybody's using the same capture pages. If you want to succeed online, you need your own capture pages. Simple as that. It, it, it's just the way it is. You can't rely on this system's capture pages because everybody's using it. So if everybody's using it, it's being promoted all over the place. And when people see the same capture page all over the place, if they haven't clicked on it, they're not going to. It's just going to become annoying to them. But if they see something fresh that they've never seen before, they're going to be curious. And that's when they sign up into that capture page. And guess what? They end up in your list, not the systems list, your list. And then you could promote your products and services. And uh, for example, with Motor Club, you know, Maybe you, you promote tools that will help with Motor Club. So if they were a Motor Club member and maybe they couldn't make it work and now they see that there's a tool they can use to promote Motor Club, they may sign back up. 
Or if they are a member, they'll sign up for your tool because now they have a way to promote Motor Club of America. So anyways, don't blame the system. Learn what's, you know, learn what, what's working, what doesn't. Do some Google searching. Um, like I said here, I'm giving you the answer right now. Don't use the system's capture pages. Those systems I was promoting through, those capture pages are worn out, used. They haven't been changed. As a matter of fact, one of those systems is gone. They shut the whole thing down. And the other system is, I don't know what's going on with that one. They haven't updated anything. They haven't updated the training. It's, for, I don't know, it's whatever. So, again, going back to why 98% fail, you become a system hopper. You move from system to system to system, and you keep doing that, you're not going to succeed. Another reason why is you, you, you think that you can learn the basics or you can learn, you know, how to do Craigslist and then that's what you're going to do. And you don't keep going. You don't expand. You know, I know there's a lot when you first start. It's overwhelming. There's a lot of information. There's a lot of things to do. You don't have to do everything. But you should do a, a, at least a few things to get that traffic. You should definitely blog every day. You should definitely do a video. And then you can expand in things like... Um, you know, Facebook marketing and um, uh, what are some of the other things? Traffic exchanges. Uh, I'm not big on those kind of things, but I am studying that to figure out um, uh, a better way of doing things. But still, um, you know, you can advertise on Craigslist and Backpage. You know, do a few different things to get that traffic coming in. There's different ways. And then as you build your money, you invest it back in your business. And that's a big thing too. That's, that's a real big thing. Don't make the mistake of making money in the beginning and then going, oh, awesome, I can go buy that new TV now. You have to think of things this way. You're building something. And when you build something, you don't just put the foundation down and then move in. You got to put those walls up and you got to put the roof on. And that's what you're doing here. So when you make those first sales, you want to reinvest that in your business. And then... You know, um, here's a great example. This is really awesome. Do you ever watch the show Hotel Impossible? I just saw a, a fantastic episode where um, um, Anthony, he's, he, he's the, the, um, the hotel expert, and he goes into these hotels who are struggling and he helps them. So a lot of times these hotels just don't have the money. Well, this particular one had $300,000 to spend. And this was awesome for him, you know, and he is so good. He's, he's kind of like me. I, I learn how to do things low cost. You know, I, I think of my bathroom. It cost me $300 to remodel the majority of that bathroom where it would have cost other people $5,000. But I figured out a way because I know ways of doing it. So he knows how to do that kind of thing. So he knew how to take that $300,000 and make it go far. So what he did is he had a, a, a magnetic whiteboard. And he went and he put all of the problems that that hotel's having. And he put each problem. And then he, he, he had a stack of $300,000. And uh, he said, okay, there's the money. I want you to take that money and you go and put how much you, you know, how much you think needs to be allocated to what section. What's the most important thing that needs to be done? And they go, oh, we should go put this much here. We should go put this much here. And they spread it out. They got it right. They really, they got it right. And what was great is that they learned how to spread that money around and then had a budget for everything that they needed to do. That's exactly what you could do in this business. You know, you create a budget. You're like, okay, you know, um, I want this tool. I want this tool. I want this software. I want to join this site. It's going to cost this much money. I want to uh, do this. I want to invest in solo ads. Maybe if I do one solo ad a week to help me get started here, so I want to invest that much money. Now, as you make sales, you allocate that money. That's a way of doing it where you're not going to fail because you're reinvesting what you're making back in your business. And if you can expand even more by selling stuff on eBay or, as a matter of fact, I think eBay sucks now. They're just crooks. They are taking... Way more money than they should. They actually now have a fee, a shipping fee, which is nonsense because, 
you know, I probably, for example, I probably saw my shipping fees. I've gotten to know typically what the price, what price to put down. And um, they will now put a fee just on my shipping price. So there's a site called eCrater. I'm looking at, into that myself. So that might be a good, good alternative. Either way, you can sell stuff to raise money for your business. And that leads to another reason why 98% of marketers fail. They don't want to invest. They don't want to spend. They don't understand this is a business. As I said before, you're building something. When you build a house, most of us don't build a house for free. Most of us don't have a, 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 a free supply of cement that we can go build our foundation with. And then a free supply of lumber and we can go build the walls and a free supply of electricity and, and wires and everything else that's needed to build a house, you got to spend. And that's an investment. A house is an investment. And that's how the business works. You got to spend. Doesn't mean you have to spend a lot. Doesn't mean you got to go and overspend. You don't want to do that. But you got to do, you got to spend some. You can't expect to just do it all for free. But there are things that, you can do for free. Like one of the things you're going to learn as you grow your business is how to get away from spending money on advertising because there are ways of doing it for free. And that way you're spend your money more on the tools, but the, the advertising with blogging and videos, those are free. And once you have everything you need, you won't be spending money on traffic. It'll be coming into your website and you'll be making sales that way. So, uh, just to wrap up here, why marketers fail, you become a system hopper, you, you jump from system to system, you don't understand that failure leads to success, you think that failure means you're just done, you're, you suck, you're a failure, you're not, you're not a failure, you just need to learn the right way of doing things. Marketers are, are afraid to spend, new marketers I should say, newbies, they're afraid to spend. They either A, think that if you have to spend, it's a scam. If, if none of us were spending money, there would be no business. We wouldn't be making money. And what we're advertising for the most part are stuff that, that helps people. Tools and software. And it's just, not just this. Uh, I'll give you a great example. Um, give you a good example here. I could be marketing or doing these marketing videos where I'm teaching how to make money online. And while I'm doing it, I will have in some of my videos, I'll have this in the background. All right. This here, my electric hurricane lantern, it'll be sitting in the background and people will see it and be like, oh, that is nice. They'll see the wire on it to be like, oh, that's electric. I may get emails where people are like, hey, where do I get that? That's awesome. I want one of those. Well, I didn't promote this. I didn't advertise it. It's just in the background. And if you look right now at this image between the blue colored light behind me and the orange uh, color of the bulb, it's a pretty cool looking video, you know? Um, I don't have it set up now because I don't have a bench behind me. But anyways, the point is I could make sales just from for this through online marketing without actually promoting this, without even mentioning it. And so that's one of the secrets to marketing. You know, um, so anyways, uh, those are my tips, um, and uh, I'll see you again. Thank you for watching the video. Click on the big red button to become a subscriber of my YouTube channel, and then click on the left side to go to my website. It's jam-packed with fantastic content and access to the very money-making opportunities I do every day. You suck! Shut it, Granny. Bite my head!